What is up guys, my name is Anime Chia here and welcome back to a new story of what if Naruto was the descendant of the Sage of Six Past. This is part one of the Sage. I hope you enjoy this video, like, share, and subscribe, comment down below if you know, and please use the Fireball Jitsu to hit that subscribe button, using your Amaterasu to burn that like button, and make sure you hit that bell by using your Genjutsu. Now my name is Uchiha Anime, and I used and I am the god of Uchiha's. Enjoy the video, like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you're new, and enjoy. Peace. We're going to the starting. Hagoro Moapsuski looked at his nine bijus, looking at them sadly. I love you all. You are my sons, my daughters, and I love you all, said Hagoro Mo, looking at his family. Father, don't leave us like you did again, please, said the nine biju. It's okay, Karama. I will not leave you like this, but I promise I will be back. But I'm getting too old, and I will be dying very, very soon. I promise I will be back. I remember a dream I had, said Hagoroma. A dream of once a descendant of mine. He will leave, lead you to a great path. A path of shinobis, a path of peace. I promise that Agaroma, his eyes going darkly, his body was glowing. A man appeared behind Agaroma. Your time to die, Sage of Six Paths, said the man. The man was taller than anything. He had a death mask on, looking at the sage. I know. I love you guys. I promise I will be back. The descendant, Naruto, said Hagarama, disappearing with the man. Time skip. A few years later, near the fire country, in the valley of the end, two men were standing at each other, looking at each other with death glares. A man who had long stature hair, swinging left to right within the wind, he had long, black, spiky hair. His eyes was red with three black tomos in it. Hashirama, Uchi, Hashirama and Madara stared at each other. Hashirama spoke. Madara, please come back to the village. We can figure something out. I promise, said the man. And Madara's eyes shone sadness, but he was angered. Sorry. My path is already chosen, Hashirama Senju, and that path what I go to. I will destroy this village of yours called Konoha. I will make my own peace, putting the genjutsu of this world, said Madara with fear, with anger, with sadness in his eyes. His mangekyo flared to life, looking at his fear-lost friend. His eyes shone darkly, but inside a glimpse of it so in sadness that he has to feet and defeat his friend to live a life that he never lived before. Both the two enemies fought each other for hours and hours going in. After that, Madara summoned a biju, the nine tailed biju Karama, known as the nine tailed fox. Madara looked at the nine tails, putting his Susano over it, and the battle of a valley begins. Both Hashirama and Madara strike at each other to the left to the right, and it doesn't work out for them to time skip hour later. Why? Hashirama spoke. Why did you do this to me? We were friends, we were family, damn it, why? said Hashirama, slamming his fist to the ground sadly, tears in his eyes, looking at his long-lost friend that was stabbed in the chest. Looking at his friend, his friend's eyes opened. Why? said Madara. What? Why do you do this? What do you mean? I can save you. No. Tell me why, said Madara, coughing up blood. 
every single time I went. I can see flashbacks. Anything I see, you be friendly to me. Every time I curse at you, you say hi. Every time I hit you, you say bye. Why? Why are you so friendly? Tell me, Hashirama, said Madara. Because you're my friend. A friend that looks like family to me. You're a family, and most of the Uchiha clans as well. I promise I can save you. But Madara didn't want to. He slapped his hand away. He, you, you are something else, Hashirama. I don't have long to live. But once I come back, that damn village will destroy. But in Madara's eyes, even Hashirama sees it with sadness. I know that's not true, Madara. Your eyes, your eyes show different, but your mind shows anger. You're sad about this. Please follow my path. I will help you. I will, I will do anything. Please, I want you back in the village. You're my friend and my family. I don't want to lose you. You're a friend like years ago, years when we fought each other. We didn't even know from each other's clans. We didn't even shout out our clans. Please. I can save you, said Hashirama with tears falling from his eyes. I'm sorry, but this is not the end. Hashirama looked at Madara, but Madara's eyes shut. Hashirama was still crying tears of sadness. He looked at Madara and slammed his fist to the ground over and over and over again, but still he was crying. Tears was in his eyes. He spoke, damn you, damn you all, said Hashirama. In rage, Hashirama shouted out and his chakra burst from the ground and wood, wood release appears shouting. But Hashirama stopped himself and calmed down. You're a friend, a friend. I loved you very much. You're like a brother to me, said Hashirama looking down at his friend. I will remember this. This is not a battle that we will remember as friends. This is a battle of enemies, said Hashirama. I will have someone, anyone, build this. You are the statue of this shinobi world. Hashirama spoke. Hashirama now grabbed Madara by bridal style and went to the went to the waterfall. Where is that? Hashirama looked around at the explosions, the damnation they caused. But Hashirama pulled, puts Madara in the water, letting Madara float so he can be with the sea, so he can be with the waterfall. Hashirama jumped on back on the north side, going back to Konoha. But with tears in his eyes, he hated that. He hated the damn thing about it. But Hashirama had to choose his path, the path of protecting Konoha. Time skip. A few years later, we see a man who was older and more wiser. His name was ha his name was the third Haruzen Sarutobi, the third Hokage, looking down at Konoha and smiling. But now he was giving up the hat to another man, a man with blonde hair, with blonde hair blue eyes and a hoodie or a cloak that covers up his body showing he has a tag of a fourth Hokage. His name was Minato no Mikaze and he was a uh, something. But Minato looked down at everyone waving him. Minato lost a few people in his life as well. One, his friend that he met before that was in the Hyuga clan. The second is his Genin, his two Genin who died. One who was known as Rin Nohara, and the other was known as Obito Uchiha. He only had one more person that was still alive within his Genin test, Kakashi Hatake. He had a wife known as Kushin Uzumaki that is in side of the Namikaze compound that is in the village this time. 
The Namikaze compound was in the village and more bigger since the Namikaze is a clan. When, when a Hokage becomes a Hokage, their last name becomes a clan, a clan of honor to respect their life. Minato's Namikaze clan is called the Keche Jinkai. Minato has a Keche Jinkai who, where his chakra and his mind can do dunes. Minato, say if Minato can do a raw saying on why reading a book, his mind goes faster than the speed of light. Once he reads something, he will keep it in mind. Like the Sharingan, Minato's mind and smart is more accurate. That's how Minato learned the flying Raijin and created the Rasengan, as well as became the yellow flash of the leaf, as well as becoming Kokage. All at the same time, Minako Keke Ginkai was known as the smart release, or, you know, his mind was more smarter. But if you're too young for that, Minato had to train to keep his mind in steady. If he didn't, he would go berserk. Time skip. A few years later, Minato has a son known as Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto Uzumaki was born giving birth down to a, a unknown location from out of the leaf village. Minato was putting his hand on Kushina's stomach removing and sealing the nine of beast back. But something happened. Something sad that Naruto would not remember. His family has certainly died and Naruto became the Jinjuriki or the jailer of the nine tailed beast. When Naruto Usumaki became the jailer of the nine tailed beast. Time skip. A boy who was one years old was in the third Hokage, who is now firmly back in his position as the third Haruzen Saratobi. Haruzen looked down at the blonde boy, smiling, but in his eyes, he was a little bit saddened that the fourth Hokage didn't really live that long. He'd been only the fourth Hokage for three years, and that was not long at all. And he was only 21, when he, okay, I'm sorry. He was only some, some age more younger than each Hokage. But Saruzen had a dream, a dream to keep Naruto safe, to train this boy to become a strong shinobi. He looked at this boy and referred, and remembered what Minato said, flashback. Please take care of my son. I know he wants to become a sh shinobi. Train him. I beg of you, Hokage sama, said Minato, his eyes shut. And back in the real world, end of flashback, Min the third Haruzen looked and shook his head and looked at the boy that's in front of him and seeing the mark on his stomach. You are a chosen boy, said Haruzen. You're a good boy, said Haruzen. And I will not let anyone. I don't give a damn about this village. They took my family. Minato is part of my family. The second, the third, the second and the first Okage is my family. And all I have is my council and my compound as well as my friends and foes, as well as my enemies, as well as my son that is still alive, and Konohamaru Shabatobi, which is never born in this one. Konohamaru Shabatobi will be born, but, you know, you already know that. But let's get back into this. Haruzen looked down, but an Ambu appeared that snapped Haruzen out of his thoughts. He looked at the Ambu a little bit pissed that he couldn't enjoy Naruto's warm touches no more. With Naruto gripping the Hokage's finger, his one finger, and smiled. 
The Hokage chuckled at this and looked at the Yabu. What do you want? Haruzen couldn't take any crap from anyone. He wants to take care of this kid, no matter what. Hokage-sama, a meeting was called for your apprentice, said Haruzen, said the Ambe. The Ambu looked at Haruzen, but the Ambu got a little bit scared because Haruzen was showing killer intent at the Yambu. The Ambu backed away, but stand his ground. Tell them that another damn meeting, I will destroy them all. Tell them I will be there. But next time, do not interrupt me, Ambu Shinobi said Aruzen, yelling out killer intent even fiercely around the around the office. But that stopped him when he heard a cry, a cry from the blonde boy. I'm sorry, Naruto. I'm so sorry. Let's go. We're going to go on a walk. Tell him I will be there, said Aruzen, changing his tone from pissed to not pissed. Haruzen walked with Naruto around the village of Konoha that is already getting built. He smiled at every villager that passed by, and they smiled back but with sadness in their eyes, knowing that the fourth Okage has died, but no one knew that that boy who holds the night was within him. But Haruzen wants to make sure everyone knows their place. Haruzen had enough of letting people control him. So now he was going to control them. Haruzen looked at the blonde boy and smiled. You are a hope of this dream. You are once a shinobi. Your father loved you. Your mother adored you, said Haruzen, chuckling. I really wish they was here right now, but they had to defend the village of Konoha. I'm so sorry I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry, Naruto, that you lost your parents and mother. Your parents from the Kayubi. I would not blame that Biju for this. Someone with the Sharingan did this, controlling the Kayubi no Ketsun. But I promise I will protect you. I promise Minato I will protect you with my life. He is like a son to me, so I will do that for anyone. For Minato, said the uh, hope, said Haruzen, looking down at Naruto. And Naruto chuckled. Smiley, clappy. And Minato did, and Haruzen did the same. And an hour later, both Haruzen and Naruto was in a meeting, while Haruzen still looks at the baby Naruto, smiling. Now, what is this meeting is all about, said Haruzen. We need to find, figure out how we're going to restore the village of Konoha, and we need to up our forces, Okage-sama said one of the ninja heads, which is Shikaku Nara, who is the Joni commander. I understand that. That is rossly true. I'm having some Ambo Shinobi and some builders to build the houses back to where it was. It will take a week to finish. We're almost done with this, but our Shinobi ranks need to be upped, so we need to summon all sh some of our Shinobis to go do some missions so we have money to reform our clans. But I would like to say something that cannot be leaved of this meeting. This is about only shinobi shit here. So elders, you may leave now. That means you, Donzo Shimura. Donzo was saddened or most annoyed about this because he wants to hear about this, but he couldn't say anything, because he knew Haruzen would do something very, very, very stupid, even try to kill him if he spoke out of term. So he walked out, as well as the other elders, but the elders spoke up. Hokage-sama, why did we have to leave? We're here. This is only for ninjas only. If you want to interrupt me again, you can be relieved of your duties. Now leave! said the Haruzen, was angry, he was pissed and furious. No one obeyed him. You should obey me. I am the Hokage, damn it, said the Hokage. And everyone looked at the Haruzen. He was never like this. He was chuckling, he was smiling, but 
This time, he was pissed of unbelief. The Hokage looked back at the ninjas. Anyone else wants to say anything can never interrupt me, said the Hokage. But the Hokage heard a chuckle, and that chuckle came from Naruto, baby Naruto, and he smiled. I'm sorry, said, Nar said the Hokage, looking down at Naruto. Now, this meeting is a SS rank secret, all right? If you guys know about that, and you're the heads of your clan, you already know what that means. If anyone speaks of this out of this meeting room, you will end up dying with your sh with your clan with it. Now, this boy here was the son of Minato no Mikaze and Kushin Uzumaki. And everyone was shocked at this. But they seen the resemblance. If you take away those six whisker marks on both cheeks, or those three whisker marks on both cheeks, he will look like a great Minato. The twin of Minato. But everyone stayed quiet, waiting for the horizon to speak again. Yes, he is very much the son of Minato and Mikaze, the fourth Hokage, the yellow flash of Shinobi, as well as Kushin Uzumaki, the red death, and the second Jinjiriki jailer. He is the third jailer of the Jinjiriki of the Nightdale Beast. Now, I'll be explaining to you guys what happened that night. If anyone looked into Nanaito's eyes, and didn't shake your head and do not speak when I speak, and everyone did what they was told. Some of them seen our the Naito's eyes, but some of them did not. Now, the Naito beast Kayubi no Ketsu was was in the village of Konoha, destroying it. But his eyes shone not the slits that he normally had. It was a protector of Kon Konoha and the Fire Nation. I don't know why or how that this happened, but someone took the Naitos out of Kushina and used it and put it under a mass of Genjutsu. What? Yes, someone put the Naitos under a Genjutsu, and it must be the Uchiha. Are you blaming us, Hokage sama? No. I will not be blaming you for what happened to Kurama or the Kayubi no Ketsu. I will blame some other shinobi that was u u had the Sharingan or he was full blood Uchiha. Even Kakashi Hatake could not go far beyond that power. His Sharingan is very unique but still wrong on the sorts. Kakashi do not have that type of chakra controlling a biju and leave it under control as well while fighting someone else. Are you saying we have an unknown shinobi that has the Sharingan as well as Uchiha blood? Yes, we do. And I do not know what that shinobi is or how, but someone, and only one person that is even able to control the biju is the Madara Uchiha. And when everyone heard that name, they was in shock. Are you telling us, Hokage-sama, that Mother Uchiha is still alive? I do not know. It's just a warning or some sort. But I'm saying, even if Mother Uchiha is still alive, he's probably old. Or probably has a subordinate who's taking doing this. But how right Hush Hagoroma or the third horizon is, how right he was, someone in the mass and a mask put the Naito from Genjutsu. His name was Tobi, or known as Madara Uchiha. Tobi smiled at this, but he was still painful hurt back with the Hokage. Now, Naruto is the Jinjuriki and Naito's jailer. You would not speak about this, because Naruto Uzumaki will become a shinobi. I would be not forcing him, but I bet he wants to. He wants to become a shinobi, so I will be having someone take care of him. Who is in the right mind to take care of Naruto Uzumaki? Someone raised their hand, and she was Inizaka Hayuga, or Inizaka Sume Inizaka. I will take care of Naruto. You will be having permission to take care of Naruto Uzumaki. 
His full name will be Naruto Uzumaki for now on. And two, he be trained to a higher position and became Chunin. His name is Naruto Uzumaki. Do not tell anyone his heritage. If you do, you will be dead. You will be put to death, said Aruzen. His heritage should be taken secret until he becomes a Chunin or a Jonin. Alright? Hi, Hokage sama. Now, anyone has questions, comments, or concerns? Yes, Hokage sama. Jikaku Nara, Jonin of Commander, Jonin Commander, spoke. I do have a question. What is it, Shikaku? Who will be training the boy? Because I know he will be smart, genius upon, just like his father and his Keke Genkai. And the Okage chuckled at this, remembering the old days that the Namikaze actually had a Keke Genkai, and that Keke Genkai made their minds boost and go faster with the speed of light. That's why Minato can create things like that. Not even Jiraiya can create something out of nothing. And that made the Hokage chuckle even more in laughter. Well, keep his Kekigenkai a secret as well. But soon he unlocks that Kekigenkai. Please tell me and I will teach, I will tell Naruto about it. Keep the Nine Tails a secret as well. If Naruto asks, I do not want to lie to the boy, so please tell him the full truth. But keep his parents a secret for now on until he grows old to a tuning. Yes, Hokage sama. Now, anyone else has questions? No, Hokage sama. Meeting is dismissed. Anbu. And Anbu appeared. You will be take care of and protecting Sumi and Izaka as well as Naruto Uzumaki. This boy. Yes, Hokage sama. If anyone finds out that Naruto is a Jinjuriki of the Nine Tails, it's your head," said Haruzen, looking deeply dared at the Anbu Shinobi. His name was Bear, and Bear was a Anbu captain. Yes, Hokage-sama," said Bear, vanishing. Now, everyone, meeting is adjourned. Now, time skip. A few years later, a boy with three. Three whisker marks, three whisker marks, and blonde hair, blue eyes, was running through Konoha, smiling at everyone, waving at everyone. He was not neglected, since Danzo Shamira never knew that Naruto was the Jinjiriki of the Nine Tail Beast, and no one would know. Only the n elder, only the ninja heads. But Naruto chuckled. He smiled. He laughed. He danced. He was happy. He gained the right of being having a family. He gained the right of protection. But he was going straight towards the Hokage Manor. Naruto opens the door, saying, waving to the assistant. The assistant waved back. Hey, Naruto sama, said the assistant. And Naruto waved at the assistant, going towards the Hokage's office. A minute later, Naruto knocks on the door. But Haruzen didn't even get the chance to say, come in. Why Naruto broke through and opens the door with a large slam. Hey, Gigi. Naruto-kun. What may I have you here for? I want to become a ninja. And Haruzen chuckled and gave Naruto a smile. A smile so bright that even Naruto gave him a goofy foxy grin. I will give you that. I knew you wanted to become a ninja. Haruzen waved his two hands and two unknown shinobis appeared. These two will be training you. One was bear and one was dog. They will teach you out of the village of Konoha, since it will be dangerous if you get lost somewhere in Konoha. What, really? I can get trained by these two shinobis? What are they? I'm Anbu, said the man. My name is bear and I'm dog. Dog had a white Hair, white spiky hair that even unlaunched gravity, and Bear had blonde, brownish hair who was known as Yamato or Tensei. Yamato, Sensei, and Kakashi Hatake. Naruto smiled. Well, let's begin, Naruto chuckled. But inside of Naruto's mind, a beast 
looked up in a void of darkness and seen a light glow. A man appeared. This man didn't even have time to speak. Or did he? The man appeared with white hair and he looked down upon the beast. Father, said the beast, listen Karama, I do not have much time, but I am not a reincarnation. He's not my reincarnation. He's my descendant. What is the boy's name? said Hagaroma. Naruto Uzumaki, father. Hagaroma chuckled and smiled. I knew it. The circle? I will. Peace. He's my descendant, so please teach him wisely. He will have all my abilities as well as my Renegon. He will be unlocking the Renegon later in the future once he unlocks the other abilities of Dojutsu. The Byakugan, the Sharingan, the Tenseigan, the any Dojutsu you would name, and the Wood Release as well. So please train him to the best of your abilities. I will teach him how to control my power, Father. No, not control. To befriend. To use your power for nice, not for evil. Please, Karama, teach him your ways. I promise, Father. But wait, where are you going to come back? I'm already back. He's my descendant. He has my chakra. He has my abilities. He's me. But the next sage of six paths, said Naruto, said Hagaroma, and please tell him that he needs more lives so my chakra cannot be disappeared within just him. Yes, father, said the Naruto beast. Why Hagarama was vanishing from the light. And Karama made a large chuckle and his eyes closed. This is the story of what if Naruto was the descendant of the Sage of Six Past. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this video was very good. Very okay with this story. But part two would be a little bit more, you know, brightened. A little bit more happy. Because this part two will be telling about Naruto's training, abilities, agilities. Yeah, all that. That's what part two is all about. It's telling telling you guys that what Naruto's abilities was and explaining. And then it will be coming to the story. So first, I'll tell you guys what his abilities will be in part two. So I'll keep that a secret. Naruto got two Kekigenkais. Boy release in his mind, his Kekigenkai from his father, which... His mind moves a mind faster and can handle a lot of more jitsus and can remember the hand signs as well. So that's his father's Kekigenkai. I don't know the name of the Kekigenkai because I don't have a name for it yet. But once I have a Kekigenkai for that name or the name of that Kekigenkai or have or come up or create a name for that Namikaze Kekigenkai, then I will shout it out. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the What If Naruto was the descendant of the Sage of Six Paths. Enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe, comment below if you're new, and enjoy. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.